In today's video, we explain how IVF medication is administered. During IVF treatment, we use many different injectable medications. Some of them are available in the form of ready-to-use pens, while others have to be prepared by us. Let's take a look at how we do this together. All the injections we use in IVF treatment are injected under the skin. The rules for subcutaneous injections are as follows. We use gonadotropins to stimulate the ovaries during treatment. Although there are many forms and dosage forms of these drugs, the gonadotropin we use in Turkey is available in pen form. This medicine is available in the form of a pen containing several doses. It is necessary to change the needle for each application. There are many needles in the box. After making sure that the dose window on the pen shows zero, remove the paper protection under the needle and insert the needle into the pen by turning it as far as it will go. The dose specified by your doctor is then set in the dose window. Another medication is antagonists, which we use to prevent premature ovulation. These medications are usually supplied ready for injection for single use, so no special preparation is needed for these medications. In addition to these two main medicines, your doctor may recommend other medicines. Your healthcare team will show you how to use these medicines. Likewise, there are medications that are used for triggering, which is the last stage of treatment. It is very important that these drugs are administered punctually and correctly. These medications are usually supplied in pre-filled syringes and do not need to be specially prepared. Our preferred area for these injections is your navel area. After you have adjusted the dose of your medication, you can apply it to the desired area in the shape of a crescent with four fingers below your navel and four fingers on the sides. During the injection, it is important to wipe the area with an antiseptic solution and change the site for each injection. For subcutaneous injections, the needle insertion angle varies between 45 to 90 degrees depending on the length of the needle. The angle at which the needle tip is inserted into the tissue depends on the thickness of the fatty tissue and the length of the needle. For subcutaneous injections, the fatty tissue is gripped between the fingers and the connective tissue is moved upwards. If the tissue is 5 cm or more thick, the entry angle of the 13 mm needle should be 90 degrees. If the tissue is 2.5 cm when grasped, the entry angle of a 16 mm needle should be 45 degrees. However, as some of these subcutaneously administered drugs are readily available, the conditions of use for these drugs must be taken into account. The tip of the ready-to-use gonal F-pens is 4 to 5 mm long and the drug should be administered with an entry angle of 90 degrees. This angle of entry prevents the medication from seeping back out of the tissue. If a swelling forms on the surface of the skin during the injection, this indicates that the medication was administered into the skin and not under the skin. In this case, it is necessary to push the needle deeper to prevent the medication from leaking out of the skin after the SC injection. The waiting time after administration of the medication varies between 3 and 10 seconds. 